Are you ready to make some deadly good food for Halloween? Stay tuned. Let's start off with some dead man's toe. I'm just taking a can of biscuits, cutting them into quarters, and then just rolling them between my hands to kind of get a toe. And once I've done that, I've got 10 almonds and 10 pistachios, and I'm just gonna stick it in one end to make it look like a gross toenail. And then I'm gonna butter them. And I'm gonna put garlic salt on the ones with the almonds and I'm going to use cinnamon sugar on the pistachios so we have a little bit of savory and a little bit of sweet. Do you have a recipe for meatloaf? I always just end up dumping a bunch of stuff in there and hoping for the best. So I've just got garlic salt, I've got seasoning, Worcestershire sauce, steak sauce, steak seasoning, and I've got some Colby Jack cheese that I have cut up into cubes. And I basically just mix it up until it sticks together and like I said I hope for the best. Do you have a good meatloaf recipe? Because if you do I would love it if you would put it in the comments below. Okay, now here's where the Halloween comes in because when it's Halloween time, my meatloaf is going to be in the shape of a man or close enough that you know it's a head and a body. And I'll show you the finishing touches once it's been baked, but I'm just going to shape him into a head, arms, and kind of feet. Now that the meatloaf is out, I have just mashed potatoes and put them in a bag and I'm just blobbing them out around my dead man meatloaf and I'm filling in as I go. Uh, the bags, it's a little bit hot but it wasn't too hot to handle and it ended up making really cool looking blobs. It's not meatloaf without ketchup is it? But our ketchup is going to be drizzled to make our dead man look like a victim. And it's ready for the table. I added some pistachio pudding with booberry eyes and I forgot to film it, but I also made some demon eggs to go along with our meal. So there you have it. Dinner's ready. <music> Let's add some raspberry vodka, blue curacao, and grenadine with just a smidge of purple shimmer for a purple bat to wash down our evening meal. Cheers! I think there's just something magical about jack-o'-lanterns, and I don't care how old I get, I'm always going to love carving out jack-o'-lanterns. It's one of my favorite things. It's a, just a wonderful childhood memory I have. And I'm so thankful that my husband is still kid enough to enjoy carving jack-o'-lanterns as well. All right, so our bellies are full with some deadly good food, using some things that you probably have around the house. It's all in how you think about it. We have jack-o'-lanterns carved and lit. We have a cauldron full of candy. All I have to do is change into my outfit and we are ready for trick-or-treaters. It's the perfect weather and I am so excited. I don't care how old I get. <laughs> I'm always going to be a little kid when it comes to Halloween. Happy Halloween. I hope you get lots of treats and not a lot of tricks. And stay tuned because I've got more fun stuff coming up in November. Take care and stay outrageous.